Really nice to have you all here in person for the first time in over a year, uh, especially a day after we've had such an epic uh, Stanley Cup celebration, boat parade on the Hillsborough River. Uh, just an epic day yesterday, so good timing to uh, try to bring everyone up to speed a little bit on what's going on in our off season now. Uh, and I thought that before I would answer your questions, I would share a few thoughts. Um, First off, when we won the cup in 2020 in, in the Edmonton bubble, it was very emotional. I'll speak for myself. For me, it was very emotional. Um, you work in hockey, and the longer you're in this business, the better you can appreciate how hard it is to win a Stanley Cup. And you come to appreciate that most people leave the game without getting their name etched on the cup. So I wanted it so badly. At the same time, your when you're dreaming about winning the Stanley Cup, you expect your family to be around. You expect your loved ones to be there. And obviously, we couldn't uh, share in that experience with them in Edmonton. And even though it was an evening of, of pure joy when we won the Cup uh, in September of 2020, there's a little bit of mixture of, I wish my family was here. Uh, so to win it this year at Amelie Arena in front of all of our fans and all of our Full-time staff were here because they were offered two comp tickets to every game in the final, and I know most of them were in the building because I saw a lot of them in the, the post-game celebrations. Um, that was awesome. Having the Vinick family here, nobody, no owner in sports deserves to have that moment more than Jeff does, uh, so I was happy to see that. To have our families here, my wife, my two boys, my parents were here. We had such a blast in the post-game celebrations. It was so nice to, to share that moment with them, but also all of our hockey ops staff that don't live in Tampa um, were here, or at least they were all invited and most of them came. So our scouts from around the world, all of our development uh, people that live in various places, all of our Syracuse uh, crunch staff uh, were all here in the building and, and they got to partake in the celebrations as they should because they're a big part of us winning this championship. So it kind of all came together to make for a really magical night. and. Uh, uh, just something I'm so grateful for. Um, as for the team itself, um, I can't tell you how much I enjoyed watching them play during this playoff run. Uh, not only as a general manager of this organization, but as a hockey fan. Obviously such a talented group, but most importantly, so much collective heart. Um, all of the block shots, all of the hits, given and taken, all of the punches <laughs> given and taken, all of the competing through injury. It, it was outstanding uh, and so inspiring to, to watch a, on, a, on a game in, game out basis. Um, Victor Hedman suffered a torn meniscus on a, in a game on March 30th. So he's been playing through that ever since. Uh, he's having a meniscectomy today. Expected uh, downtime is three to four weeks, so we're not concerned going forward. Um, Barkley Goodrow and Ryan McDonough played in the, in the playoffs with a broken hand. We had a number of players with some banged up shoulders, nothing of concern going forward. Uh, obviously, Alex Killorn uh, suffered a broken fibula in game one of the Stanley Cup final. Um, I saw the x-ray, it, it was broken in two very distinct pieces uh, all the way through. Uh, blocked that shot, broke his leg on a Monday. On a Thursday, in the hopes of being able to come back and, and help us win the Stanley Cup, had a rod inserted in his fibula, um, was skating by Saturday. That's how you win the Stanley Cup. And. Uh, and Cooch obviously, uh, Cooch obviously had, uh, sorry, part of this is I have a cold. Uh, part of it is I'm, I was inspired by the guys. Um, Cooch uh, obviously suffered a, I think you know by now, a, a non-displaced rib fracture in uh, the series against the Islanders from a cross check. Uh, played uh, with a, a flag jacket from that point on, and also had a nerve block uh, injection before the day before every game from that point on. So uh, it makes his his performance during these playoffs, both before the uh, 
the, uh, the injury and, and post broken rib, all the more impressive. Uh, he's, uh, he, he's a tough hockey player. He's an incredible hockey player. And uh, all of us in Bolt Nation are, are, are happy that he's our coach. So uh, couldn't be happier for him. And he seemed really happy that we won as well. Uh, there's, there isn't a more, more determined player out there than, than Nikita Kucherov. Um, I think that's it for, for the injuries. I would like to uh, have a special shout out to uh, Dr. Chuck Nally. Uh, Chuck is the doctor that performed the nerve blocks uh, on Cooch before, the day before every game, uh, which in and of itself I'm grateful for. But it's all the more special because uh, at a certain point, his family was in, uh, on vacation out of state. And, uh, and on three occasions, he flew back to Tampa to inject Cooch and then went back and rejoined his family again uh, to, to partake in, in the family vacation. So big shout out to Chuck. Uh, so grateful for his dedication to, to our success and, and, and to Cooch's care. Uh, another special shout out to uh, our director of sports medicine, uh, Tom Mulligan. Uh, Tom has been with us for a long, long time. I was actually here before I got here. Um, the last year has been incredibly demanding on him uh, because of all the COVID protocols and uh, all the testing, and he oversaw all of that and summarized the protocols for us and uh, executed the, the plans to make sure that uh, he kept all of us safe. And uh, obviously, uh, big props to our players and our coaches and our sports staff for being disciplined and, and determined and uh, helping us prevent having a, a COVID outbreak. Uh, but in particular, I'd be remiss if I didn't acknowledge uh, all the hard work that uh, Tom uh, did in the last year, year and a half. Uh, he is, he's, earned, he's earned a vacation and some family time because I know he hasn't had a lot uh, in the last 18 months. Um, going forward, um, I think it's pretty, uh, it's pretty easy for all of us to kind of take this team's success for granted at this point. Uh, in the last seven years, the team has reached a Stanley Cup uh, Conference Finals five times, um, won three. The two times we didn't win, we went to game seven and lost to the eventual Stanley Cup winner. Went to three Stanley Cup Finals and now just won back-to-back -back championships. It's a pretty amazing run that we've been on so far. Uh, and it's the result of the hard work of a lot of people. Uh, the business side, our staff here are amazing and they kill it, especially under very difficult circumstances in the last year and a half or so. Our community outreach people do so much in the community uh, to, to make sure that we are a, a good corporate citizen and a community leader. Um, obviously, our players and our coaches are determined and, and they bring it every day. Um, but our analytics department, our scouts, our player development people, everyone done, has done so much great work to build up this organization so that we could have this success. Uh, so I'm really happy for all of us uh, that you know, we got rewarded with, with these back-to-back -back championships. And, and in particular, we got to celebrate together this time uh, the way it should be. Um, going forward, I expect us to remain a Stanley Cup contender. Like, if we want to win another championship, if we want to win a championship, you first, uh, first of all, you have to be a Stanley Cup contender. And, and we've been that probably since 2013-14. And uh, if I look at our roster right now, like, we have elite players at all of the key positions. And they're either in their prime or just entering their prime. Uh, so I have a lot of reasons to believe that we're going to remain a Stanley Cup contender. And hopefully, the stars align uh, again for us, just like they did the past two years. And we can go on another magical run and, and bring back the Cup one more time. Um, the biggest challenge to us being able to do that, obviously, is the salary cap right now. Uh, we have a Stanley Cup winning roster. And <laughs> our challenge to maintaining that roster uh, is the salary cap. So we're going to have to get creative. Um, examples of how we've managed uh, to the cap and try to optimize the space we have over the last two years are when we traded Ryan Callahan to Ottawa for uh, Mike Condon. And then 
And we assigned Mike Conn to the minors and essentially buried his contract in the minors and, and took most of, of that cap saving uh, off our books and we could reinvest it in the team. And then we traded for uh, Barclay Goodrow and Blake Coleman, who were two players who uh, greatly outperformed the cap hit they were taking, the cap space they were, they were assuming under our cap. Um, prior, to this off prior to this past season, we traded two players we could no longer afford, uh, Braden Colbert and Cedric Pocket to Ottawa, gave Ottawa a second round pick and took two, contract back, uh, two contracts back uh, of two players that were injured and, and could be assigned to the long-term injury exemption. Uh, and then at this year's deadline, we traded for David Savard uh, and had it set up in a way that Columbus and Detroit retained 75% of, uh, of the cap space. So we're going to have to keep getting creative and, and finding ways to, to optimize the cap space so that we can keep as many of, the, of these players as possible and try to keep this roster intact. But the reality is, as much as I would like to bring this team back exactly as is, and I would have faith that they're going to have a lot of success, um, the reality is that we won't be able to do that, uh, mostly because of the cap to a certain extent, because there's an expansion draft coming up. Um, Today, I can't tell you who uh, won't be coming back, which players won't be coming back, because I don't know uh, for sure. Uh, but I know that whoever won't be coming back, uh, I will miss having them on the team.